in greetings. On this video, I'll show how to uh, fix an error uh, when you can't connect to your NIC. Um, excuse me, when you can't connect to your to your computer, let's say you don't you replace the NIC card and now it doesn't have internet and no one can connect to it. Well, uh, how to fix it is it's actually not that not that hard. Um, it is somewhat of a drag if you don't know where to go. So let me go ahead and putty over to the machine. Okay, so here's my putty. I'm gonna log in as root just to to get it over with. Okay, so uh, let me let me make this a little bit larger. Okay, the issue when you replace a NIC card is the following. It, first, you're gonna ru run the IP. Oops. IP link show. Okay. What that's going to do is going to show you everything that your machine is actually linked with. You'll notice on this particular computer on lines two and three that there's a, a NIC card ENP4S0, but then there's another one ENP5S0, F1. Well, we, when I replace the NIC, actually I replaced two of them, uh, ENP4 did not exist. It was actually this EMP5, which is fine and dandy. The problem is that the OS originally had. So let me clear this. And where you actually find all this info is on uh, Fedora and Red Hat and all these. It's going to be under your itsy sysconfig uh, network dash uh, scripts. And then on Debian's, it's going to be under your itsy networks. Um, same layout though, it's just in a different spot. So, but I'll put the the, the notes uh, for both of them. So I'm gonna cd over to itc um, sys con config uh, network scripts. And you'll notice when I, I ls into this, on this particular one I even have uh, bridges and so forth. So it, it was critical to get the get it right. You'll notice that I don't have anything with ENP5. Everything was to this one, ENP4, uh, even over here. If you notice over here to my uh, virtual machines. So that's even the bridge was there. So the easiest thing and how you fix this is simple. You nano or VI or whatever you want uh, to your IF. I have config and whatever Ethernet card that you that it originally had. So mine is going to be ENP4. So all you're going to do here is you've noticed here's the device name, which you can change it and so forth, but it's too much of a drag. All you want to do is if you don't have the this hardware hardware address um, in there, you want to put it in there. Um, if you do have it, all you're going to do is replace the old MAC address with the new one. You save it, reboot, you're done. The, the machine will come back up, everything will, will come back and, and start working again. Hopefully the video helped um, and all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.